Hey guys, what is up? I'm doing my Titanfall beta impressions. So let's go ahead and just get into the meat and grind of the game. Alright, let's just go. I'm going to do this and just... How I'm going to do it is just pilot versus something, and then Titan versus Titan. Talk about the maps, and what I would like to see more added to the game. Alright, so let's do this. Pilot versus AI. Um, pilot will always win. Because specters or grunts, even if you're about to die, they'll shoot you once, and then just, they'll stop. They're like, oh god, I just shot him. I just shot him. Oh god. Oh god. He's about to kill me. And then, whenever, it, yeah, just the AI needs to be toned up. I, if it's able to kill, let it, I want to see it be able to be killable. I want to be able to get killed by an AI. Because that's my own doing. It is my own doing on that part. And so I think that it does need to... The AI needs to be able to kill you. Because if you just keep running and gunning in there, AI can just... put you down. And then that will teach players to adapt to new strategies and all that stuff. And the AI should just be there. Like if, I, if I'm a one-shot, the, the AI will just think, Oh God. Oh God again. He, oh god, I shot him once now, he's pissed. He's pissed again. Oh god, oh god. Alright, um, but that's my only big complaint with the alpha and the beta. I played both. It's that, that's my only complaint about this, is that the AI just needs to be smarter. And so, yeah, that, yeah. Can people that are worried about the AI being dumb, it's quite dumb. So, that just needs to be fixed. That's pretty much it. Um, so, alright, then pilot versus pilot. It's traditional first-person shooter with some really awesome-looking guns. Great, great, great visuals. And pilot versus pilot plays out really well because you can wall run. Uh, you, can you can just try to get, just get around. You can run fast. Uh, you can cloak. All this good stuff. Um, I would high. this is really good. This game, like I said, is, it is phenomenal. Besides my AI, uh, point, this is one of the best first-person shooters I have ever played. Ever. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you saw me just chew about this game and how it was beyond phenomenal. Um, so, Pilot vs. Titan. Um... Basically, if you go into a head-on clash, of course the Titan's going to win, and I think people would expect that. If you just, if you have your, your just Titan gun, and a Titan's running at you with a, let's just take my, uh, a, the cha chain gun, of course the Titan's going to win. But you have the ability to get on his back and shoot him that way. Um, uh, you can use a rocket launcher from far away and just take him out that way. Um, there's a lot of key aspects. You have to. You can't just head on. You just got to play in more of a tactical way to where maybe this guy could have him distracted. He's fighting. He's busy fighting another Titan. Okay. Um, I'll shoot him with a sidewinder while you guys just keep. You both of you put in rocket launchers into him, and then the guy can just pull him out of his thing and just toss him. That is an awesome, awesome feature to just whip the guy out from his Titan. And just chunk them like a lawn dog. That it's just amazing. That oh, it, it gives me pleasure every time I do it. Um, it is fun. It is a really really good beta. All right, and then Titan versus Titan. This plays out like nothing you will ever experience in your life because it's just phenomenal. It's oh, I wish it was back. Oh, God, March is almost here. It's almost, the release date is almost here. Um, so is Dark Souls 2. Um, oh, this game is going to be heavenly. This is what people thought of ages of a great first-person shooter. Um, uh, and so, then Titan vs. Titan, it's just awesome. I've been. I've also been able to play as the Strider and Org due to burn codes in the beta, and that was. Those are just blast. Who I would like to see um, some mechs added, just as free DLC. Free. 
Because I'm buying a season pass, but I don't want myself to get a new Mac just because I bought a season pass. I don't like when people do that. God! Sorry about that. Don't get... I'm not going to talk about that. Um... But... And then let's talk about Angel City and Fracture. And I guess that will probably wind up... And then I'll give you my just overall impressions of the beta. Like what I, what I give it out of... We're going to do 1 out of 10 again. Because 10 is the new rating system on the channel. So, um... Uh, Angel City is a more of a pilot-friendly map, and you can wall run and get all that cool stuff. Uh, it it's just so good. I want this game now. It is so good. And then Fracture it is a more of a um, of a uh, Titan-friendly map. Um, this it, it's a, this one was my favorite of the two. I liked Fracture. Um, and the three game modes that you could play in the beta are Attrition, Horde Point, and Last Titan Standing. My personal favorite, probably, uh, I don't know, I played so much, I like all of them, but probably, it might, might just be Last Titan Standing. Um, Last Titan Standing just is a fun game mode to play with a lot of buddies, and I think if you have, like, like six people, you guys, everyone should just get together and say, you know, let's go play some Last Titan Standing, because that's just, it's so good. Oh, my goodness. I cannot stretch to you how phenomenal this game is going to be. Um, but I played a lot of Hard Point. I probably played the least of Last Titan Standing, honestly. That's, Last Titan Standing was the most innovative game mode, but I played more of Attrition and Hard Point. And I know what you're saying is that those are just Call of Duty games, and yeah, but those are basic um, game modes in every first-person shooter. So, um, and the people that say this is just a ripoff of Call of Duty, screw you! Just screw you! You have played the last game for God knows how long. Titanfall is not, by any means, stretch of the imagination, a ripoff of Call of Duty in any way. That's just my personal opinion on it. So don't say that, because it's not. For Christ's sake, these people made Call of Duty before Infinity Ward, and I believe Treyarch. These were the people that got Call of Duty on its footsteps. So, they're not going to rip off a game they just left. Um, but it's great. This is a great, great, great beta. And I'm going to give this beta, uh, this is the best beta I probably have ever played. That or Reaches. I mean, I... Again, I people say I might be biased to Halo, but it is just there's something that I experienced with Halo Three that I've never experienced with a first person shooter in my entire life. So that's why you always hear me talking about it. Halo Three, if you have not played it, if I have one Halo, if you could only play one Halo in your life, go play Halo Three. It's got the best multi in the best campaign I have just ever played. It's the best combination ever, and it's my favorite game of all time. Um, there's just nothing that beats the classic Halo 3 for me. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, Titanfall, this is a phenomenal beta. You guys sh should have played it. It went open on the last couple days, and it w was... Phenomenal, phenomenal then. And so, also, wanted to say, uh, nothing will transfer into the full game. Vince uh, Sampella uh, responded to a tweet of mine asking, uh, saying, do you want to, uh, did I, I asked him, would anything from the beta transfer over to the full game? And he said no. So I'm assuming that was just because of I, whenever I was playing on the last day, everyone was nearly a level 14, and then there would be no point for, like, level 1 through 
1 through 13, and then everyone was start out at level 14, and you, so they just probably said no. I imagine if they kept it closed, they might have, because then everybody, there would only be people that win the beta, but that would just kind of, I think they just want to give everyone a fair chance at the multiplayer, because it is just a multiplayer game. So, that's basically it, but this is a 10 out of 10 beta. I give it a 10 out of 10. This beta was fun. Fun, 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 fun. I put, I believe I put in about 9 to 10 hours into the beta. So, um, the guns they gave you were the smart pistol, a shotgun, and the carbine, I believe, and the sniper rifle that I don't think anyone ever used. I saw a few people beat it. And then burn cards are a welcome feature. I think those are really cool. Basically what they are is, uh, basically a burn card, I'm just going to give the most basic examples. One can say, after you die, it can say, take 40 seconds off the next Titan that you get. And I'm like, cool. You activate it, and then 40 seconds goes off the timer. And how you get a Titan in the game is, no, everyone will eventually get a Titan. If you are the worst player in the world at first-person shooters, but you are, you're still going to get a Titan. All you do is when you kill people, it just makes your Titan build go faster. So, that it's just a motivation system to get you your Titan faster because everyone wants to be in the Titan. So, yes, that's basically it. Um, I feel like that was pretty much all the bases covered. Gameplay is fun. I don't think anything is overpowered except for the smart pistol. I can still beat it. It just gets annoying sometimes. It just came in at the worst opportunity for me. And this is a first-person shooter that I strongly believe in that whenever I die, it's actually my fault. It is my fault. When, unlike when I can say in Call of Duty when I put so many bullets into a guy or something... Or Battlefield, I mean, Battlefield is pretty b fair about it, so I won't get on Battlefield, just Call of Duty. It's just my opinion, guys, I hate that game with a fiery passion that will always, always ha be there. And like I said, I Ghost was my second favorite Call of Duty next to Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 is one of my favorite games. For the Call of Duty franchise, I want to say my favorite, but out of if you made me for if you force me to play a Call of Duty, I will say Modern Warfare 2 every time, and I would play it. I would probably have a good time with it. I loved that game. It was a great, great game. But um, yeah, um, that's it. The beta is phenomenal. I wish hopefully you guys played it, and I'll see you guys uh next time. Uh, hold on, just one little quick announcement. I bought Strider for the uh, Xbox One. I'm probably going to be doing a review on that. It just, it's, it's going to be Sunday, it's going to be Saturday night when I'm filming this, and I'm picking up Thief Tuesday morning, so I'm going to have Sunday and Monday to beat it, and I don't know if that's going to give me enough time, and then once I get once I do get home Tuesday, I'm just going to want to play Thief all day. So, that's what I'll be doing, and I'll de Thief is a bigger priority. And then, I won't be picking up Stick of Truth probably day one, um, just because I want to I wanna save up, because I'm paying for Titanfall and Dark Souls 2. I feel like that's one of my most anticipated games. And I know what you're saying, Thief wasn't even on your list, but South Park, the Stick of Truth was. I'm looking forward to the Stick of Truth more. But I want it to be. I want to maybe check a few reviews first, even though I know it's going to be phenomenal. I might pre-order when I go to go pick up Thief, because I I love South Park. I watch it nearly every day or so. It's a funny, funny show. Go watch it. It's hilarious. Um, but yeah, that's all I can say. And so then here's how the review schedule is going to work. Um, you're going to get Thief, then probably Strider. Uh, the week of South Park, the Sick of Truth release, because um, then Titanfall, then don't expect Dark Souls 2 for a while, because that game's going to be impossibly hard. It might be easier, because in my opinion, the game's going to be, um, the because they always have a reputation for making hard games, and I think the reputation of hard games is going to, in a sense, 
detract them. They're, they're going to try to think, oh, guys, we have to live up to this whole game. And then also this, and I don't expect it to be harder than others because this one is getting a big AAA release, unlike Dark Souls 2 and Demon Souls. If you had a PS3, you probably heard about Demon Souls, but... And then Dark Souls, that was a game that kind of went under the radar just because it was so hard. And this one's getting a big release. And I'm curious to see if Dark Souls 2 and uh, Titanfall, what's going to win there? Because overall, I think Titanfall will go over because it's just got the PC and the Xbox One. And you're going to have every Xbox One person owning that game. And then you have the um, PC, and that PC is going to go crazy for that. And, but then you have Dark Souls, which is a multi-platform release, except on the PC, which is PS3 and Xbox 360. So, and then I will also be picking up Stick of Truth when I also pick up that. So, and I've got a lot of games I want to get out for you guys. And then I want to also get Ground Zeroes, and I also want to get Plants vs. Zombies, Good and Warfare. But it's just like a little bit of time. I can't buy every game that comes out. Um, but yeah, I don't want to get on this tangent here. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the Titanfall beta if you got the chance to play it. Um, if not, go, go pre-order the game right now. I want you to stop watching this video. Yeah, click the arrow wherever it is. I don't know. It's probably going to be right here. And I want you to stop watching this video and go pre-order yourself the game. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Um, peace.